wayside at the end of the Pasha's Emma, we have the Pasha of the Megalev. The Megalev is something unfathomable. He said the name of Akim's Borhu. said a curse. And the Torah, through Moshe Rabbeinu, says over the Alochis, the Chiyav Misa, of a Megadi, Menekim Shem Hashem, Mois Yumas Rokim Yirkma Boy Kalaedo. And then the Torah digresses into Hilchus, Kabbalah, and Ritzika, which to our mind has no connection at all. The Ish Kiyake Kom Efesh Ola Mois Yumas, Makim Efesh Behemi Yishalmeno, Ish Kiyit Mumba Amisoy, Makim Behemi Yishalmeno. This is a Dova HaKosha Ma'oyit. What connection does it have with the Pasha? The Megadi, if you really think a little bit about it, when this story happens, the Chizkuni explains al Pichazal, this story was two weeks after Matan Torah, because it was the same time as the Mekoshish, a parakeva. So this was two weeks after Matantera, El Mali Shamush, De Shabosis Kel Kosov, Lahoya Kalbuma Obeya Yukhaila Lishlit for him. And how did he know the Shema Makoirish? Rashi says he heard it from Akhibi Borgo at Maimon Hasina. This is absolutely incredible. The Megadav heard on Niki Hashem the Keva, Shitisikha Me Erit and Srain, Me Besa Vodim. And he had such an urge to be Megadim that he took that very Shema Mephoresh and was Makal. And the Torah explains, he had a father. His father was a Mitzri. Mitzri, a part of a world of Mi Hashem, Asha Eshma Bekoiloi, Parod, denied, and defied the existence of Akimish Baruch Hu. Didn't want to accept it. This was the culture, this was the mindset. And the Megadi had that father and absorbed that. The lotion of the Posik is by Yetze ben Isha Yisraelis. Behu ben Ish Mitzri, his mother was a Yisraelis, his father was a Mitzri for certain the Nei Yisrael. And in today's world, we can understand the Posik very clearly. The word ben so has two meanings. Sometimes it means a biological father, and sometimes it means where do you come from, what's your culture? Ben Eretz Yisrael, Ben Yerushalayim, Ben Chutzvah, Ben Teirah. By Yitzay Ben Ish Yisraelis, biologically his mother was a Yid, therefore he was a Yid. But who? But what was he culturally and in his mindset? Ben Ish Mitzri Vasayim Bnei Yisrael. He was a boy walking around among Yid. He had not payers. He jumped at Kodesh Kodesh. But inside he was rotten and he was like a goy. <coughs> And here, if you look at the some cipher, you see that really the Megadev did two things, not one. The first thing that he did, which had never been heard of in Kuali Yisrael, and we don't find other places in Chumash. He was very agitated, he was very upset. He lost it in terror. He felt unfairly treated, and how did he react? By Yetzeh Benisha Yisraelis, Vayinotsu means he had a physical scourge. He slapped people around. This was unheard of by Yidin. This is not the way in Chumash Yidin acted when they were upset. There's a lot of Vayiloyku and Vayisloyku, a lot of grumbling, a lot of being upset, and a lot of verbally expressing their upset, but physically hitting people. This is the way of a mystery. This is his father's DNA. 
His father was an SS man. His father was a magus. His father was a cruel, sadistic person who beat people who didn't do things that they did way. And this was the culture that he absorbed, which led to Megad. How did it lead to Megad? Because in a subtle sense, the two are connected. When you slap another person with a stinging blow, you're dealing a blow to the Shkina. Every person is a Tzadam and a Kim. A person is not a potato. When you hit a human being, when you hit another Yid, it's like hitting the Shkina, the Gemara says. So really the first step was by Yenotsu. Sometimes a child sees a piece of candy on a shelf, but he can't get there unless someone gives him a ladder and a step to get there. There are various chamurits, there are serious various that a person has a nature to and a tendency to do, but he can only do it if he has a first step to facilitate the process. The first step in Megadit was by Yenotsu. He hit somebody who represents every year is the Shema Hashem is Nikra Aleinu, is hitting and showing indifference to the Shekhinah. The next step is Megadah. And when Akadish Bolchu, so to speak, rewired Klai Yisrael and taught us again how to view things, it didn't start with a lesson about Megadah. It started with a lesson of appreciating what it means to hit another human being. And therefore the theory goes with detail. Ish, when you kill an animal, that's done doing damage. When you kill a human being, most humans, for that is Ritzicha, for that is Achir Misa. When you do damage to an animal, that's Nizokin. When you do damage to a human being, that's Chaybul, Kasha Osa, Kaini Osa Loi. If we have Hashkofa Nechayna in the Kalais, then we don't come to the Chamurus. If we take away the ladder of Chaymon, then a person wouldn't have come to Megadid. Very often, a person can retrace the steps of a disastrous end from seemingly small steps at the beginning. Kalais become Chamurus. We find in Chazal, how when we talk about the first steps of, of an Avedar, if a person gets the cast, because I'll say it's like a Avedar, why? This is the beginning of a process. It's our Avedar, as the Balikusa say, you get right in there at the beginning. Nipajates a horror in the bud so that it doesn't take you further and further until a disastrous ending has to show.